Some of you are really distressed about the Phoenix phenomenon. It was never my intent to be a fear monger. But I have to present the information as I have it. It is harrowing. But it's harrowing for the collective. The individual is not subject to anything the individual does not want to be subject to. In every single vicious atrocity, the invasion of the Huns, Genghis Khan, the invasion of Iran by the Khans, the invasion of Europe by, by, by the Huns, these atrocities, the battle of Teutoburg force between the, between the Vite, well, basically the Germans and the Romans, these great epic battles like the Battle of Kuruksada in 1879 BC, the East against the West, one of the last battles that giants were actually involved in. Yes, I'll do a video on the battle. I already know some of y'all are interested. Y'all want that video on the Battle of Kuruksada. It's, it's the great war of ancient times, and it was the last war in recorded history where giants were directly involved on both sides. So, who you are has everything to do with your ability to insulate yourself from the chaos around you. You don't have to suffer what the collective suffers. You don't have to go through anything the collective goes through. It's a personal choice. It always has been. You don't only create informed fields. You are an informed field. You are an informed field that absorbed, that has absorbed every single thing that you have ever accepted as true. And since you were, since you basically were aware, one years old, two years old, three years old, four years old, every phenomena that you have come in contact with has molded your personality, your memory. You are absolutely packed with information. You may not think you are, but you are. You are flowing with information. It is emanating from you. It is, it is basically your auric field. The, this odic force that's encapsulated around you. It is your spiritual armor. And the simulacrum responds to it. And if it's dark, then the simulacrum has control over you. It can put you in stasis to where you are living every single day in a reactive mode. Controlled not only by what the masses do, but controlled by the simulacrum to follow to follow what the masses do. You're among the living dead. I don't believe any of you listening to my voice right now are among the living dead, or you wouldn't be on this channel. There's no reason for any of them to be listening to me. Because the informed field that I built as I'm speaking, in, and you're listening to me right now, is so antithetical to anything they would comprehend that they would instantly link on to a different YouTube channel something about baking cookies or or video games would be listening to me because listening to me is a completely different type of information than anything anything that they're ready to absorb because their informed fields are polarized totally against the truth or anything that the simulacrum does not want them to know if you have already overcome this polarity then you have bypassed what you know of as cognitive dissonance but even that is not enough. Doubt is a very powerful force. It's induced by the simulacrum, but you don't have to entertain it. But if you do, it's being absorbed into your informed field. And it will, it will cause a decay of your thought construct. But it doesn't even matter. Because if your thought construct doesn't have any force behind it, and force is only created in physicality, you've got to remember, Jesus had the key. Faith without works is dead. And by works, he's not, talk, he's not talking about anything complicated. He's talking about any physical follow-through. Speaking is a physical follow-through. Walking 10 feet, turning left, and looking up at the sky is a physical follow-through. It doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever supports your informed field. And this is the secret to sympathetic magic. This is the secret to ritualism. They go, they're in tandem. Every witch will tell you the same thing. Rituals are the creation of informed fields for which the universe responds if you follow it with a physical act. In the, from the perspective of magic and ritual, the physical act is, is just that. It's an act. 
a follow through going through the motions performing a, a ritual because a ritual is actually a copy of a real act like voodoo somebody wants to hurt the person so they t stick a needle in a doll is the doll real no but the simulacrum takes fantasy and forges it into fact that's what informed fields are they're fantasies they do not exist in the simulacrum's reality they have not been a they have not been knit mathematically into the simulacrum's protocols or subroutines. They're not there. They belong to the individual immortal who, who imagined them. Because imagination is not cerebral. Imagination is 100% a spiritual phenomenon. Just like intuition, which is not produced by the brain. Imagination, intuition, and empathy. These are what make, make you spiritual. These qualities denote that you are far more than a human. You are something else. The human is only the physical part of the informed field for which the immortal soul produced to put it here inside the simulacrum. By putting it here inside the simulacrum, it made it subject to its laws. You must obey the construct's protocols, and those protocols mandate that if you want something to physically appear in your reality, then you have to imagine it, which is spiritual. Then you have to do a follow-through. The informed field must be backed up with something physical in the world. It doesn't matter if it's a ritual. It doesn't matter if it's behavior. Behavior is physical. But it has to be something that will show the simulacrum that whatever it is that is imagined is real. The entire operation is by inverse proportion. To assume something that exists that does not yet exist. Basically, the immortal soul is taught by the simulacrum to lie. You must lie to yourself in order for the simulacrum to return it as truth. This is why we live in a copy of a real universe. Negative default programming saturates this entire world. It's why it's so hard to, to maintain a positive mind. Everything about this beautiful construct is the exact opposite of what it should be. We are immortals trapped in the mire. And when I say mire, I'm talking about the simulacrum because it's not the real universe. It is a copy.